Should you have a cheat day to celebrate your birthday or holiday or whatever else? I'm Jackie here to answer questions about my journey from fat, weak, and sick to trim, strong, and healthy. Um, this is not going to be a popular answer. And it's also going to be one that disgraces Dr. Fung because he will say, you should fast and feast. However, I did enough feasting already. I spent plenty of decades feasting. Um, and due to my, as an ex-diabetic or someone who has reversed their diabetes and is in remission, I don't want to go back. Um, there are times I will eat more, I will change plans, I can pick a restaurant, look at the menu online, decide what I can eat before I go. Um, I can go somewhere already, like to a party or a wedding, already full and not have to worry about it. Um, I will sometimes uh, expand when I eat. I will expand my eating window, I will eat outside of my window. On occasions but I personally feel it is extremely important to stay on a ketogenic diet at all times my body does not handle carbohydrate well it just doesn't now actually I just saw a thread about this earlier today where someone was saying how do you live without carbs and somebody else said oh it's so sad that people go through life without cake and bread I'll tell you what is sad what is sad is having cake and bread and no life. I couldn't move. <sighs> Barely. I'm, I'm not kidding. It's not because I was so big. It was because I was so sick. Had such severe edema. Such bad heart disease. I could just barely take a few steps. Okay. To me, personally, in terms of cheating, <sighs> this is the analogy I use, which amuses some of the people in the bear group. Probably some find it offensive, but they don't tell me. Um, it would be as if you had been in an abusive relationship with somebody who beat the hell out of you all of the freaking time. And then one day, late at night, he calls you up wanting a quickie. Okay, I don't care how good the sex was. The answer is no. No. <laughs> I am not eating pasta. My Italian re ancestors are rolling over in their graves and the other half of my family is rolling over because I'm not only am I not eating pasta I'm not eating bread or potatoes either not ever again Anna puts it pretty well my friend Anna and what she says which is you may have loved the carbs but they didn't love you back if you're going to plan on going back to eating carbs you're going to be diabetic again now it was fasting that changed things for me. I did ketogenic dieting before. I did it before, but I used to think that psychologically it was better for me to have one day a month when I could cheat. And I did that. Um, I did that for years. Um, if I ate badly all day, then my blood sugar wouldn't go back down for three or four days. But if I ate badly just one day, this was before I was ever on insulin. If I ate badly just one meal instead of a whole day, it would be back down to a good number in about a day. So I let myself do that. I'd say, oh, I'm going here for Christmas. I'll eat whatever I want. Oh, I'm going here for someone's birthday. I'll eat whatever I want. I thought that if instead of saying no, I just postponed it. This is not the day. You know, I can have anything I want on that day, one day a month. Yeah. I kept doing that and I wound up on insulin so no I don't think well I can't do that maybe you can maybe if your diabetes isn't as bad as mine was and if your genetics aren't as bad and if you aren't as nearly as damaged maybe you'll be able to let carbs back in your life on occasions um, to some degree uh, it, cheat days are not for me though I, I learned that that's how I ended up on insulin and Keto itself did not get me off insulin. Copious amounts of fasting did. And while I'm willing to give up some weight loss by not fasting or doing two meals a day once in a while instead of one, I'm not going back to being diabetic. No way.